My pollinators are exploding. These, they love these flowers out front, which I'm so excited because that's what they're here for. Plus, I enjoy them, but I am just so happy that they're here, they're enjoying it, and you guys need to check these guys out. They're everywhere and they're loving it. Hey guys, Shelly here, Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. How are you guys today? I am doing great because I am home and my garden is exploding. So like I said, welcome to the garden and welcome to the honeybees and the, the uh, bumblebees and all the other bugs that are out here that are beneficial to my garden. <laughs> um, oh my word, my corn has blown up since I got back, as I was gone, it just, it's not very tall, which it did the same thing last year. So I'm assuming it's because of the kind of corn that I had, but I had some seeds left over, so I didn't want to waste them. So that's why uh, I planted them again. But there's already corn growing on them. I just can't believe it. I mean, I guess that's normal, but it seemed like it happened so fast. I almost wish I wished I had a time lapse on some of these so that I could have seen it happen because I think it happened overnight. My my sister-in-law who came to tend my garden and my chickens for me, she's gotten all kinds of zucchini, cucumbers, green beans, and peas out of the garden. And so it's been a couple days. I came out and just kind of looked around and picked what I found offhand, but I really need to get in here and get digging around. And I brought my basket with me so that I could get some pe some beans because I'm pretty sure I've got a whole bunch over here. But let's just take a look at the garden. I mean, I am just blown away at how it exploded. And I'm so excited. Okay, so you saw the corn. Look at it. It's just beautiful. And then uh, here are my onions. These are doing really well. They're starting to fall over. I did some weeding and I had to pull some of them out because I loosened them up when I was weeding. But look at these nasturtiums. They are falling over and they are just beautiful. Didn't know that they would have runners, but there's a runner there and there's one over there. It's crazy. It's crazy. My marigolds. My marigolds are doing really well. I don't know if you can see the, the big head way over there. We'll go over and look at it. But the most important thing is check out these tomatoes. They're not ripe yet, but they're huge, huge. I can't remember what these are right off the top of my head. Look at the size of that guy. It's my whole hand. Um, I can't remember, but I've got a branch that's so heavy down here that it fell and we just left it. And I think what I'm gonna do is pick these and put them on the windowsill and just take this off because it's barely hanging on over here. There's some more, some more tomatoes. These are my Romas, I do know that. And oh my word, they're just crazy insane in here. Look at that, can you see them? Get out of there. There we go. Look at that. They're just crazy. It's hard to get between the, the fence over here. But there's my other marigold. Look at the size of that head on there. It's huge. Look at that. Just like my whole hand. Some more romas in there. This, this bed's all romas. I can't remember what I planted over there yet, but I'll let you know. I'll probably flash it on the screen. This is my cherry, my one cherry tomato that I planted and it fell over. It's leaning on the fence, which is what I wanted. I knew it would do that because last year I, they were huge and they did the same thing. But I had them over there or over there and they fell over, which is fine. But yeah, they they had a, 
a thing on them too, like a brace. And I had them all wired up, but they just got so heavy. But that's okay. But yeah, none of them are red yet, but they've fallen over and they're just, they're everywhere in here. Look at that. They're all over. And then this little guy was like a volunteer and he's growing some little cherry. Those are cherries too. Those must have come up from being in the compost. But there's some nasturtiums mixed in with my marigolds. And um, I mean, look at this place. It's a jungle. It's a crazy jungle. Crazy, beautiful jungle. All right. This is one zucchini plant. Just one. And it is huge. Oh, there's a little hummingbird. Let's see if we can get the hummingbird. Can you see the little hummingbird? Right there. Oh, my dirty finger. Right there. Can you see him? See the little hummingbird? He's so cute. Hi, hey, little hummer. <gasps> He's visiting. He's visiting the nasturtiums down there. sweet. He's visiting the nasturtiums. I love it. Okay. So, this is my zucchini. And there's a zucchini down there. We've picked a ton off here. So we're going to have zucchini whatever coming out our wazoos. Look at this. They're all over the place in there. That one could probably be picked. So that's what I'm in here for today. I've neglected since I got here to really get in here and do much since I got back because um, the, the lawn needed to be mowed and firewood needs to start getting put in. So I started with that instead. Um, I really need to get in here. My peppers are growing. Oh my gosh, there's little peppers in there. Can you see the little peppers? They're started. And, oh, I've got a bunch right there. But I need to get really in here and trim up some of this so that these guys can get some sun because this thing is so huge that it's just taking over. This zucchini plant. And again, over here too, this nasturtium has taken over this one, which I see some buds and some peppers popping out. Oh, there's a pepper there. Nice. And there's a bunch of flowers there. And I know that I have my pollinators, so I'm not gonna worry about that. There's my cherry tomato plant again, falling over. That's crazy. Here's the, the pretty red orange um, flowers that the, the hummingbird was getting after. I'm so glad I put these in here. Oh. Look at the, look at the bees down in that flower. Zucchini flower. They're having a blast in there. So they're pollinating that guy really good. I don't think I've ever seen so many bees in this garden. These two plants here, these are my zucchini plants, and they're not as big as the other one, but they're they're putting out some stuff, so that's good. My zinnias, aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous. All right, volunteer tomato plant. I don't see any tomatoes on it yet, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a cherry. Um, this is full of buds. This is a marigold full of buds. It's going to be beautiful. These are my pepper plants. I did feed them when I got back because I noticed that they were kind of struggling a little bit. This one has got, this has got the biggest pepper on it. Look at that. So cute. Oh, and this is just full, full of flowers. Another volunteer tomato. I just let her go. These are all my carrots, and I do see some orange in there, some carrot tops. I don't know if you can see them. There's more peppers there. All the little peppers are growing. Look at that baby pepper. So cute. 
So it looks like, I don't know, there's a zucchini there. Probably can be pulled. I'm trying to pull them fairly young so that I can get, um, try and keep the seeds out of them. But I mean, look at this place. It's a jungle. I'm in a jungle. I love it. So anyway, here's all my, um, all my herbs. My dill's going really good. I got some little bugs that are enjoying that. And I got a bunch of um, buds for my uh, borage. Here's my, um, my, my clay seed balls that I had put in there. And they're mostly growing sunflowers, which is great. No problem with that. Um, same thing with this one, except that, oh look. Can you guys see the daddy long legs? Hopefully you can see there's two of them there. I've got a bunch of them here. I've got a bunch of them in the garden. They're good, they're good for the garden. Anyway, these are really cool. I love these, they're red. Those are gonna be really pretty when they're all the way open. There's one that's even more open. So those are super pretty. Got all kinds of things growing there. My potatoes have um, flowered and now they're starting to die off. So I'm excited to see if we got any potatoes. Here's a few more and a few more of the sunflowers. So there's that CBD plant. This one's not doing so good. I've got to get a stick, prop it up so it's not rubbing against this other one. But this one is doing super good. This one is doing even super gooder, if that's a, a word. Uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers are doing awesome. There's one there. Gotten a ton of cucumbers. I love fresh cucumbers out of the garden. They're supposed to be pickling, but I don't know if I'm going to get enough all at once to be able to pickle, but um, that's okay. It seems like the squash bugs have subsided. I have not seen them. I have been using neem oil before I left, so... Um, I'm hoping that they just stay away. We're, they're gone now, I hope. Look at the beans. That's just loaded. I've got to pick these today. I noticed these when I came back and I made it a priority to do my, um, my mowing because it was a jungle out there as well. My corn and peas are doing great. My peas are doing just what I wanted them to do, which was climb up the corn and use that in the fence as supports. So that's doing great. And I'm just loaded, loaded. Look at this guy here I picked a few minutes ago. It's loaded. I can't wait to have some fresh beans. I'm gonna cook some today for Scott and I. But this is my garden, guys. It has exploded. Every year I think, oh, it's okay. I've made enough room so everybody can have their space. I did add flowers this year because I wanted to get the pollinators in here a little more and I think I've succeeded in that. It's pretty awesome. So does anybody else get this excited about their garden? Like it's just exploding and the food is just coming forth. It's so awesome. I'm so excited. And we're going to have some fresh food today. I'm definitely cooking up some green beans. I'm going to be cutting some of my green tomatoes, that limb that I showed you guys, off. And I'm going to go put those in and just set them uh, inside to see if they will ripen. And which I know they probably will. And maybe some cook some peas or at least pick some anyway. I'm just so excited. Okay. All right. Calm down. Calm down. So when you, oh, I hear the hummingbird buzzing around, so he probably wants to get back in the nasturtiums. So I'm going to hurry it up and pick my stuff and um, get out of here so that these guys can just do their job, what they need to do. And thank you guys for coming along and checking out my garden. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your gardens, if you're growing one, are doing awesome. Um, and take care. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And have a great day.